Hi everybody, welcome back. We're gonna do some yoga. Unroll your mat, grab props if you'd like to use them. I'll give you a moment to get those things and I'll see you right back here. Hi again and welcome back. We will start today in a comfortable seated position on the mat. I am sitting cross-legged on a block so my hips are lifted. That helps me to find some length in the lower back rather than struggling to sit tall. Feel free to do the same if you like. You're welcome to modify any part of your practice today as you see fit. Before we get started, just let your hands drop into your lap. Maybe if you like, turn the palms up. If it's comfortable to do so, close your eyes. As we, as we settle into our seat, just take a moment as you observe the sounds around you, the air around you. Draw attention a little bit closer to your mat. Start letting go of all of those things happening off the mat, letting go of other sounds happening around you. Clearing a path for you to focus on what's happening in your body. Focusing on what's happening with the breath. And keeping the breath moving in and out through the nose. Let's hold here for three more deep breaths. Opening up the eyes if they're not already open. We'll begin our practice today with a brief vagus nerve exercise. Take your uh, fingertips, bring them together around the back of your neck on opposite sides of your spine. You can even, if you want to cup your hands here and just let your fingertips rub very gently up and down along the neck from the base of your skull to right above where your uh, shoulder blade starts, right? Just very lightly massaging, nothing too heavy, but you want to make sure that you have enough pressure that you can feel like you're doing something here. You can even do circular motion or just up and down. Another breath or two. And let your hands fall again into your lap or the backs of your hands on the legs. If you want to close the eyes again, you can. Optional, of course. Just checking in and seeing if anything feels different. If you feel a little more at ease, a little more loosened up or relaxed. Your vagus nerve is the largest nerve in the body, starts at the base of the skull and runs along the back, crossing over behind the lungs, the heart, your digestive system. So when you start to feel anxious or stressed out, you may notice that the heart rate increases, you're breathing a little faster or your stomach gets a little upset and that would be why. And when you can settle or rebalance your vagus nerve, you can help to reduce 
feelings of stress or anxiety in the body. And all you need is 30 seconds or five deep breaths. And opening up the eyes, if they're not already open. Let's come off of our seat, let's come on to hands and knees. So we'll begin with a few rounds of cat and cow to warm up the rest of the spine. You can tuck or untuck the toes here, whatever, whatever feels good. Inhaling, arching the spine, little back bend, cow pose, eyes up. Then exhaling, round it down into your cat pose as you hollow out the belly, tuck the tailbone. Inhaling, arching, lift the tailbone. Exhaling, round it down. Matching the movement to the breath as you continue on your own. Inhale. Exhale. And let's give it three more deep breaths. Again, just match the movement to the breath. Let's give it one more full breath. When you get into your cat pose with your next last exhale, hold here for a little longer. Let the breath move, just drop the head down. And if you like, maybe flip the hands around so the fingertips point out to the sides, or maybe turn the fingertips to point in. You can even, if you like, turn your fingertips to point toward your knees. Rounding down. And flip the hands back around. Let's spread the fingers wide and come to downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. In your first down dog, if you like, maybe walk out the feet a bit, bend the right knee, the left knee. I'm always a big fan of getting the legs, especially the lower legs, a little bit more stretched out. And taking a big inhale, lift the heels up. Big exhale, sink the heels back down. Bring it forward to plank pose, lining up the shoulders. You can drop the knees to modify or take chaturanga lower halfway. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And returning to your downward facing dog. Give it another full breath. We'll put a little bend in the knees, look forward, and walk or hop your feet to the front. Fold over the legs as you round, and then take your hands to opposite elbows, hanging over the legs in, a, in an uncomplicated ragdoll. You can nod the head or sway a little if you like. Right this time of year in summer, when the weather is much hotter, we like these forward folding poses. Switch the hands, opposite hand on top because forward folds kind of let you look toward the dark, look toward the cold, and they're cooling poses, essentially. Let your arms drop down toward the mat, then roll up slow to stand. Uncurling, coming all the way up, head up. Relax the shoulders, stand tall in Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms around, grab your right wrist with the left hand, stretch up and over to your left. Come back to center, grab the left wrist, stretch up and over to your right. Come back through center, dive over the legs, arms behind you, interlace fingers, stretch the arms overhead, head down, soften the knees. Let your hands and fingertips reach for the mat, lift the chest, step your left leg back in low lunge. Let's take a little twist here, low lunge twist, right arm, sweep it open to the right side, reach high, look up if you can, take one more inhale, exhale, the right hand down, downward facing dog, step back, inhale forward to plank, chaturanga or drop the knees, inhale, 
upward facing, knees off the mat for your upward facing, and take it back to downward facing dog, and let's give it another two or three deep breaths right here. Option, of course, to take child's pose if you choose. One more deep breath. Inhaling, lift the right leg up. Exhaling, low lunge, step through the hands. Step your left foot up behind the right foot so your right leg crosses in front. Drop the head down. We'll transition through standing split. Lift the left leg all the way up, head down. Stepping forward to the front of the mat, both feet are side by side as you fold over the legs. Inhale, sweep the arms around, grab the right wrist with the left hand, stretch to your left. Come back through center, grab the left wrist, stretch to your right. Come back through center, this time just dive over the legs, soften the knees, head down, hands down. Chest up, inhale, right leg back, low lunge. Take your low lunge twist, open the left arm to the left side, reach high, look up if you can. We'll lower the left hand, down dog, step back. Inhale, come forward to plank, chaturanga or drop the knees. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing or child's pose. Let's give it another two or three deep breaths. Just letting the breath move nice and easy. Taking one more deep breath. Big inhale, lift the left leg up. Step to low lunge as you exhale. Step the right foot up behind the left so the left leg now crosses in front. Drop the head down. Transition through standing split. The right leg now lifts up, head down. Step all the way to the front of the mat and fold over the legs. Inhale, sweep the arms around, bringing both palms together overhead. Reach both arms behind the back, interlace fingers, chest up, warrior three, right leg back, tilt forward like a seesaw. The standing leg is solid. Try to level the hips, heart forward, one breath. Taking it to warrior one as you float back, left heel down and sweep the arms over. Soften the shoulders, look up if you can for a breath. And we'll look forward, identify your left arm, wrap it under the right arm, elbows and wrists coming into eagle arms, Garudasana arms. We'll lift the elbows, inhale, keep the right knee bending deep as you exhale, tuck the elbows in and round. Inhale, coming up. Exhaling, bring it in. We'll do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale. As you're here in the fold, release your hands to opposite sides of the right foot. Parsvottanasana pyramid, straighten the right leg, soften the forehead to the shin, option to put blocks under the hands. If the front knee needs to bend, you can let it bend. Take one more breath. Take it to low lunge as you put a bend in the right knee, lengthen, look forward. Warrior two, the back heel spins down, come up, arms out and hold for a breath. Reverse the warrior, right arm over. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, reach out, float the left leg up. Use a block under the right hand if you choose. Float the left arm high. 
look left if you can. Try peeking up and if you're feeling adventurous today, maybe take your left hand to your left foot for a little half bow, half bind action. One more breath. Return to warrior two, release the left leg back, come up and straighten the right leg triangle. Turn the arms, right hand down, left arm high. Look up if you, look up if you can and hold for one more breath. Let's peek down, lizard pose, put a bend in the right knee. Your hands are inside the right foot. Turn on the back toes and you can walk the right foot over. Drop the back knee down, chest up. You can hold it right here. Option if you'd like to add on, you can take the quad stretch by lifting your back foot. Take your right hand to the back foot, opposite hand to opposite foot. Sink in, chest up and hold for another deep breath. We'll release into half split, both hands inside the right foot, straighten the front leg. Low lunge, bend the front knee, downward facing dog, step back. You can hold it here or flow through. Taking another full breath in your down dog. And inhaling, we'll lift the right leg up. Low lunge, step through. Step the left foot up behind the right, fold over both legs, head down. Transition through standing split, left leg high, head down. Step all the way forward to the front, fold over the legs. Inhale, sweep the arms around, rise up, palms together. Arms behind the back, interlace finger, interlace fingers, opposite pinky finger on top. Warrior three, right leg, tilt it up, tilt forward, hips level, shoulders back, one breath. We'll take it to warrior one, step it back, heel to the mat, arms over, look up if you can. Looking straight ahead, eagle arms, identify the right arm, wrap it under the left, wrap elbows and wrist, big inhale, elbows up. Then exhale, tuck the elbows in as you round, head down. Two more times, inhale, elbows up. Exhaling, round it in. One more, inhale. Exhale. In your fold, release the hands to the mat, opposite sides of your left foot. Parsvottanasana pyramid, straighten the left leg, forehead to the left shin. Props if you want to use them or bending at the left knee if you need. One more time. Take it to low lunge, bending up at the left knee, look forward. Warrior two, right heel to the mat, press down and come up. One more breath. Reverse the warrior, left arm over. Ardha Chandrasana half moon, reach out and float the right leg up. Option to put a block under the bottom hand if you like. When you can, turn your head, maybe look up. And if you tried it on the first side, feel free if you want to go for it. Grab your right hand to your lifting foot, your right foot. Half bow, half bind. One more breath. Release out slow for warrior two. Lift up, reach out. Trikonasana triangle, straighten the left leg and turn the arms. Look up if you can. One more time. Uh, 
and peeking down, bending up at the left knee, lizard pose, hands inside the left foot, turn on the back toes and you can walk the left foot over a little bit. Drop the back knee down and either hold it here for the hip stretch or add on for the quad stretch. Lifting your back foot, taking your right, uh, left hand, hello, left hand to right foot, opposite hand, opposite foot. Sink in, chest up, one more breath. We'll take it to half split, Ardha Hanuman, both hands inside the front foot, straighten the left leg, shift back, one breath. We'll take it back to downward facing dog. Bend the left knee, hands down, step back. You can hold it here or flow through. Let's enjoy another deep breath or two. From your down dog, inhale, lift the left leg. Low lunge, step through the hands. Step the right foot up behind the left. Fold over the legs, head down. Transition through standing split, right leg high, head down. Now step all the way to the front and fold over the legs. Separating the feet, hip width distance. Padangustasana, hand to toe, grab inside the big toes in yogi toe lock, lift the chest, inhale. Then exhale, head down, elbows out, shoulders away from the ears. Letting the breath move, option to modify in ragdoll with your hands holding elbows if you prefer. Let's give it another full breath. Taking a big inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, releasing out your toes, bringing your hands to the waist and with a flat back, press up slow to stand. Relax the shoulders, keep the hands on the waist. We'll do a little Natarajasana dancer pose. Also great for summertime because we're opening everything up and letting the heat out of the powerhouse in the body, which is your solar plexus. Shift your weight to the right leg, lift the left knee, pick up your left palm, kick the foot back, grab inside your left foot with the left hand. This is an inside grip, so your left thumb should be pointing to the, uh, the wall of the room behind you. Bring the knees together, level the hips, look at one point straight ahead. Your energy flows where your gaze goes. So we wanna be looking straight ahead to stay upright. Lift the right arm, kick back, and you can hold it here once you have the back bend. Breathe. And if you have the space to take a deeper back bend, I encourage you to keep kicking up and back then dropping the torso a little so the right arm pulls forward, but making sure no losing your back bend. Otherwise you're losing half the pose. Keep kicking, keep reaching and take one more breath. Slowly come up, whoops, lower the left leg, relax the right arm. Real yoga by real people. So sometimes it's ah, a little bit less than perfect and that's okay. We'll go the other way. Bring both hands onto your waist again. Shift your weight left, lift the right knee, pick up the right palm. Kick your right foot back, grab inside the right foot so the right thumb points back. Bring both knees together, hips level, chest up. Look at one point straight ahead, lift the left arm kick back and again you can hold once you have the back bend 
or if you can deepen the back bend, keep kicking, then pulling your left arm all the way forward. Kick back, reach forward, keep the breath moving. One more time. Then slowly come back up, right leg down, left arm by your side. Tadasana, stand tall, find stillness. And we'll inhale, sweep the arms around. Dive over the legs, Uttanasana. Keeping the feet hip width distance, we'll inhale, lift the chest, lift the fronts of the feet up. Slide the hands under, then exhale the toes down, head down, rounding. Option to take ragdoll again if you choose, just switch the hand so the opposite hand is on top. Relax the head down, no tension in the neck and the shoulders, just soften in the stretch. We'll hold for one more deep breath. And as we release out, lift the chest, let go of your hands, step back into plank. From your plank pose, come onto your hands and knees. Let's go right into pigeon pose. Bring the right knee through, so your right knee is closer to the right wrist. Left leg back, sit tall. Now modifying on the back for the reverse figure four, if you choose, option to put a prop under the right hip or thigh if there's a lot of space here, just to make sure you're staying center, not sliding right or to the left. When you're good to go, slide the arms out, lower your head down. Let's hold here for about three deep breaths. And as we come up, slide the hands back, head up. Removing any props you might have under the right hip and just roll to the right. Sweep your left leg around for Janu Shurshasana. So the left leg extends out, your right foot against the inner left thigh. Sit tall, square off toward the left leg, reach both arms up, inhale. Exhale, come forward, grab your left foot, use a strap or belt if you need. Lengthen as you reach, shoulders away from the ears, one more breath. Releasing, slide the hands in, head up, Ardhamatsyandrasana, lift the right knee. Now step your right foot to the outside of the left leg. Option to keep your left leg straight as you twist to the right or if you like, you can bend your left knee. Make sure the sit bones stay level. Lengthen the spine, now twist to the right. One more full breath. Coming back to center, grab a brief counter stretch, go left. Return to the middle, we'll unwrap the legs, come onto hands and knees. We'll go the other way. So going right into pigeon pose, slide the left knee through, right leg back, sit tall, modify as you see fit, props if you need, lengthen the spine, hips stay level, slide the arms out, head down. And let's give it another three or so deep breaths. One more full breath. And as we come out, slide the hands in, 
in, head up. Roll to the left leg, Janu Shirshasana, the right leg extends out, bending at the left knee, the foot to the inner right thigh, square off toward the right leg, sit tall, inhale, arms up. Exhale, come forward, grab your right foot or use a strap or belt if you need. Another deep breath or so. And we'll release, slide the hands in, come up. Bring the right leg straight forward, lift the left knee, Ardhamatsya Andrasana. Seated spinal twist, step the left foot over. You can keep the right leg straight as you twist left or option two. Bend at your right knee, keep the hips level, lengthen the spine, twist, opening to the left and we'll give it another deep breath or so. Coming back through center, little counter stretch, go right. Take it to center, then unwrap your legs, bend up at the knees, roll down onto your backs, hug the knees in. Option to rock a little, happy baby if you like. And bringing your feet down on the mat. Now option here as we get close to our Shavasana, if you have a prop like a block or a rolled up blanket or bolster, you can lift the hips and slide the block or whatever prop underneath the sacrum for a supported bridge pose. I'm going to actually put the block on the middle height. If you otherwise would like to take a shoulder stand, Sarvangasana, if you have that in your practice, feel free to do so. Maybe even putting a prop under the lower back like this and just lifting your legs up for a modified shoulder stand. This is a nice way to get the same benefits of the full variation without overdoing it and kicking up too much energy, right? Too, kicking up too much energy this time of year can lead to overheating. So that's why I always encourage the semi-restorative options where you're getting the benefits without, you know, bringing the needle into the, into the red, so to speak, right? Wherever you are, let's hold for another deep breath or two. And lowering down. Hug the knees in. And if you're in shoulder stand, and actually regardless, let's all, let's all do some fish pose. So come up to a seated position, take your prop, and if you're not using a prop, you can definitely do fish pose without the prop. I'm just gonna be demoing with the prop. Take the block blanket bolster in the middle, toward the middle of the back. As you lay back, the prop is in the middle, your shoulder blades wrap around the block and your head drops back. So without a prop, your legs are straight. You're going to hug the elbows in, chest up, head back. But if you're using a prop, you can just let the arms drop out. It's going to be a little easier to let the arms drop out with a prop. But do whichever variation you prefer. Let's hold for another deep breath or two here. And we'll release, if you're using a prop, roll off of the block or the prop to the side. Remove it from behind you, hug the knees in, take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, bring the forehead to the knees for five, four, three, two, one. Shavasana, let go of the legs extending out, arms out, palms facing up. Closing the eyes, letting go of the breath and just settling back into stillness. No need to do anything or control anything. Just let go for a few moments so the body can restore and recover 
You'll feel better stepping off the mat than when you first stepped on today.